Please like and subscribe, it really helps out. Also, any weird cuts in the audio are because we said someone's real name and we don't want to expose them. Okay, so before I continue, you need to understand that I kind of died again. And yeah, I decided to move out of my old base. So, I've started a new base with friends. Here is some footage of that. Showing now. Hey guys, so this is a tour of the new base. We got this excellent view. This is going to be where Devi builds some sort of large Chinese structure. But the wonderful parts are over this direction. Got a really nice, sort of like Hobbit inspired place down here. Devi built this. Here, uh, as in the overhang and the path, and he also started mining this area out. There's gonna be a super smelter there. Uh, shulker storage system-y thingy there. I'll explain that in a later video. This is gonna be, like, I'm gonna have my stuff go... My, my base is gonna go down the spiral staircase there. Sorry about the stump in the background, that was my younger, younger brother. I don't know why he was doing that. Anyways. So, yeah. We have the main social area. We have a chicken pen four cows in the cow pen this is this is tiny and the cows can get out at like any time ridiculous cow pen um then we have the farm debbie hates the berry bushes but hey her bushes can be nice so yeah we have wheat potatoes carrots and berries there our llama who we have not as of now uh named up here, oh yeah, please, please don't mind the random crafting table. Okay, up here is Devi's, this is Devi's private quarters. I should probably not be in here, I'm gonna go away before he gets angry at me. Okay, and then this area, well, this area, you, you'll, in the next clip you'll see what it's for. Hi right, guys, so... It is my friend Lechenka's birthday, and so I thought, why not I'll make this, and I'll explain why I'm here in, in the first place in a, in, in a sec. But, yeah, so I decided to make him a gift. Inside the gift, we got all nine of my emeralds, some diamond horse armor, and a potion of, in of instant health, because that would be rather useful for him. Could have saved his life life earlier. Look. Uh, this, yeah, this happened to you. He tried to swim in lava, apparently. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna give him an inst instant health potion as well. As of the fact that no one decided to comment the name of what, what I should call my dog as of now, He's going to get to name my dog for me. He also gets one small favor from one of the two new members called the Devastator, or just Debbie. And he gets a favor from me as well. I'm after that death. I mean, you saw he kind of quit if you looked in the chat and read it and paused it. Look, look, and scroll up. I, I'll admit I was slightly rude, but I was also kind of stressed because I was just about to be discovered. Um, but yeah, he lost everything. He was transporting all of his items to this base. Okay, and then here he says, I'm going to go play some Battlefront and leaves the game. So, I'm hoping this will make him feel better, too. Okay, so I fun... wasn't exactly prepared for you guys to like join this quickly. I was like waiting for you, and then you didn't join, and then I needed, and then suddenly I sit in chat, and you're like, "Oh yeah, we can get on right now," and so I was not prepared. I actually don't think I'm gonna go back to the shopping district and get the elytra. 
I'm gonna start playing this like it's a new Minecraft world. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, sure. Alright, are you ready? Oh yeah, I, I've been mostly ready. Alright. So, so I heard, I heard it was your birthday, Lechunka. So, so yeah, I, I made this. This is like your room now. It's got a slight hey. nether portal infestation, but we can like fix that later. Yeah, oh, there were two. Where'd these two anyway. stairs go? Did you destroy those? Well, you see them. Hang on, I have them. It's because I was digging the mine, and I was like, why is there wood? So I needed to see what it was, and then I forgot how it went back. Oh, okay. it's, yeah. It's just... Oh, shoot, I just, I just broke the sign. Oh, that's fine. Mine did from the wrong side. It, it, it said, happy birthday from me, and I also said it's from Debbie, so. Hey. But I made the present, because I had to get off. I've been It, it took been me making... three hours to build this whole place. I dug this all out today, and I built it all today, including that wall. I felt really bad. Oh. It's like, even when you mentioned your gifts earlier, I couldn't say happy birthday, and I was like, getting mad at myself, but I knew I, you know, I needed to keep it a surprise, I thought, so. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Welcome. Creeper, I just villagers, yep. I need help. <laughs> Oh, I just fell in a cave. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm at half a heart. I need help. Uh, oh, no. I, I need musk lessons. Yes. <laughs> I, I totally need musk lessons. So, like... Oh. To fit you into my very busy schedule of donkey. He's well, like, never why, had why, a could you, why couldn't you like give me a musk lesson right now while we play? Okay, so like, I'm gonna get, like, get off. Could, Tell me when you're done. I, I could do with a demo, you know, before like so, so I can sort of start to understand how it sounds fully. Yeah. Okay. Here's here's a demo. Ready? So okay. So what's really important? First of all, you have to take a really deep breath, like. Inhale as much as you can, okay. and then inhale a little bit more so that your lungs feel like they're gonna fall. Okay? Not healthy. Good! Then, it just explodes out, and you I just can't feel hold deep. Like, like, oh, uh, so, I, so, so I gotta speak German, okay. <laughs> and, um... You know, it's, it's not, not it's not in the vocal cords. It's like you shouldn't hurt your throat. It's in the chest. So okay, I don't know. It's it's something that's kind of hard to teach. You could you give me a demo? Could, could you oh, give yeah, me another? Sure, I'll give you a demo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that? Hmm. Do it again. Oh, I'm like, I have asthma, you know, so it'll take me a bit to regain my breath. Okay. <laughs> so, <It was> awful. <laughs> it was awful. This is great. Someone else, I can, I've converted someone else to the mosque. To the mosque? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's have a go. Mosque. <sighs> <laughs> That's pretty good, except you're you're kind of lacking a little bit in uh, play. You wanna really the, let the it rip. wind department. Okay, so for those of you who didn't know, there was an update from Minecraft. It was a few days ago. I think it was Friday, and I we we updated our game ourselves, and then there was we we couldn't update the server. It just doesn't update properly, so I haven't been able to make any proce progress on that world specifically, but I'm able to download the world, so I'm going to show you some footage here of where I started designing the redstone and the looks of my new base. Okay, so we all know this area by now, though. So... 
Well, Junka has updated his exterior a bit. The interior is sort of coming along. But this was before the server went down, of course. And we have a small mine. You don't really need to see that, it's kind of cruddy. And yeah, y you will know this area. But there has been a massive change in the back. As you can tell, I'm in, the, in creative mode. None of this stuff will stay. You can also tell I have two items in my inventory. So yeah, this is going to be the entrance to my base. Not very grand right now, I know. But it gets better, much better. I have a really cool system here. So I have a. This is going to be a small storage sorting system. So like these all link up here to a specific armor standard but that way. And these all link up. Or these aren't linked up to anything yet. Don't know if they ever will. Might just move them over to here and make this longer. Okay, the armor stand system I'll show you in a bit. This I think I'm gonna put a um some sort of guest room or something like that, and over here is going to be some redstone stuff involving smelting. Okay, I suppose I should show you this system. So, I have on me full set of netherite. And this is like for my main netherite, I know it's not labeled yet, it will be. So I pop this in, you can tell they got sucked out, you can hear droppers firing. But this is the incredible, incredible part. It's really cool to watch. See? And that's just really cool. I have the rest of the stuff, so I'll explain it all. Okay, so, as I said, that's my main netherite set. This is going to be my main flying set. I tried to put a bow in this, but it does not work. The armor stand does not pick it up. And it'll be over here in a not too long. This one's slightly longer than the rest, though. See? Now for the other two. I have a another set. This is the last of my sets. Or what would be my sets? This one can glitch out sometimes, it just still works, just a bit wonky. Can you hear it firing into the water? A couple of times. Hmm. See what I mean? It can sometimes be a bit glitchy. Okay, and then this last one is going to be the guest area, guest one. So like guests will be able to count, they'll be able to, they'll be able to take their armor off. This is a guest's armor and tools that they use to get over here. And again, you're going to hear, you're potentially going to hear droppers firing. Can't remember. Maybe this is the longest one. Come on, there we go. There, you see? And the nice part about it is it looks nice and flat, essentially, along that side and this. Oh, I need to replace the block. But it's because these come out, and I really like that feature. I think that's the coolest part of it all. Okay, so you've seen this now. That would be the guests, and so they would be able to put their armor there. Then I haven't, I don't have an auto destroy mechanism because there's no room. You'll see why in a later segment. Okay, so that's it for this room right now. That's also my meeting room. 
That is slightly glitchy. And it's not always consistent. I like we log and it's inconsistent. So we have my little meeting room with two seats. So yeah, they can sit on their cushion. I can sit on mine, we can have a meeting. But here's the cool part. If I put my key in, it'll put this block down. Okay. Then we have a button here so we can get the key back. And the key will appear in the shulk box. And one more. And we're in my base where I can put the key there if I want. There's no hoppers or anything, so like see, no hoppers. I can sleep, it's not not night. And we can go back up as needed. And this, this is just to cover the bubble stream. And I hop in this block. And you wouldn't even know this existed. Let me show you the key again. So, you can see that block's not down right now. See? Then, I need to retrieve it. Ah, uh, I've messed this up. Don't mind me. Oh, I'm already in creative. Of course I am. So it just gets in there when you push the button, it unlocks it. Okay, so yeah, there is some redstone. Like, or not redstone, but some mob issues and. I'll be getting that dealt with. But, as you can see now, that block is gone again. And we can open the door again. We can close the door again. I just love this part. The way it just links like that, and it's just really cool. I could watch that door all day. Anyways, so yeah, this is the starts of what's going to be my base. Now, I'm going to do a little bit more work on it in the next episode, but for now, I'm going to put this key away. I'll show you the redstone stuff. Actually, no, I'll need that key. Not yet. Okay. So... How this gets over there is, it uses, oh this is dark, I need to light this up. Or believe me, there will be mobs, because it is like that. Okay, so basically, they all link up to a, which of this one over here, where is it? Uh, smart dropper, when this dropper has stuff in it, this turns on, which turns on the hopper clock, which in turn turns that on, depowering this torch when there's something in that hopper there. goes back and forth. Then it powers this torch and it powers the hopper. That's the case with all of them. Then they go through, I can find it, several water streams. To the next system which I'll show you once I get there okay so now for these systems I'm gonna punch a hole in the floor okay so <laughs> it's rather complicated down here uh, let, me, let me get up there so let's start from the top where it comes in the items come in I really need to light this place up. I've been having mobs spawning and it's really annoying. Okay. So, the items flow in. Right? And they run into these hoppers. Once this hopper is power, it sends a signal out both this way, which locks this hopper down here. So that, like, it doesn't mess up. 
or unlocks this hopper so that this can like this can get a scent sense and then it unlocks and from there it powers through this mechanism I do not know why there is a second piston there but there is um, and I'm not gonna move it in case it does something I can't remember why but it's there pretty sure it'll work without it but I'm not gonna not gonna get rid of it but essentially it goes into this pulse extender here and it pushes the redstone block down powering this line powering that piston and therefore powering all three of those pistons which push out the hoppers those three hoppers so they now line up with that and hopper underneath then down here I know it's complicated this dropper is a or dispenser is a smart dispenser if there's an item in it again it'll dispense all the items it doesn't matter how many items in, are in there it'll dispense all of them and then stop using the same mechanism as before so yeah I, I had to make this three blocks wide and it was not fun well it was but it wasn't if you get what I mean and this is the same exact same for all of them because I'm in creative mode I can turn it into experimental gameplay and therefore access structure blocks which is what I did okay so that's that system I really need to do something about this no I don't want pants Where are you, spider? Where are you? And then my final, my favorite part, this was the uh, one on the nether set. I just love this. The fact it travels from over there to over here. Ah. From over there to over here. So, and, and equipped. I just love that. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There. Now, I'm going to show you the system back here. not break this but I can't break this if I break that because it's a stair it has to be a transparent block there because of that now back here it's also complicated and also in need of lighting up so let's do that while I'm here put this block back there we go now so the button is on this block powers that which in turn, yes, it powers this, but that's already powered anyways. Um, so it comes, it powers this T flip flop over here, which powers both of these. So it inverts this so that this turns off and turns this on. This ah, hopper gets two pulses. And so, or one pulse, my bad. It spits out the item. It spits out the item of in there, into here. It spits that out. It lands on either that hopper or that hopper. It doesn't really matter. But it's there long enough that this can sense it and send as it goes through. So it enters and leaves. It sends a pulse to this one. That is what opens it. So. If I do a demonstration, I'm gonna actually do it on the redstone line because I can make sure it'll work properly. The door is currently closed. Click that. See that sense of that pulse? Ah, it didn't work. That's didn't work because the other one didn't depower. 
but I just messed it up. No, I didn't. Okay. But yeah, it sends a pulse and it opens it up. What how it does that is it puts a block into a zone of power. Sorry about that, guys. So let's block into power. And that powers that piece of redstone dust and that one only. This is transparent block so we can get down. Then powers this. Can't get backwards. Which powers that. Then piston up there. And it also, after... And that's delayed so that those fire after these pistons retract. Does that a couple of times as you can tell. The other one. I can find my way back up. There. When that button is pushed, it again toggles the D flip flop, unpowering that. Which opens it. And right now, because I pressed the button or the other activation button that is normally accessible, so we have one down there, it basically turns this line off, does that first, gives it a little break, and then fires this. What happens here is this just pushes down into power. So this is not actually needed. And so it sends a signal that way these first, mind you, then this, so that those push in and that fire is pushing the block out. I could not do it any other way with my mind, okay? Which is why it has that weird system where it does strange things. So here, here I'll show you it in action. Uh, click the button, you can see the two pistons firing. Right, in fact, it'll be easier to see down here. See, and none of them are powered, that's it, so open. See, open. Click the button. Turns that on. And once more, so that you can for sure see this one. Mm. Mm. I see. So what it's supposed to do is go... open and once more see really cool system works pretty reliably now though not always and this button is just hooked up and goes over pissed and that pushes down a redstone block for a second over here is entirely different for an entirely different system we have an item sorter. This is going to lead eventually to just a random box that I'll be able to access and take out all the items that aren't supposed to be in this. It sorts the key and it gets locked here. Powering this, meaning that piston up above is powered and pushes down the block. Then when I press that button in there again. It unlocks this hopper, allowing that to go through. This no longer has any reason to send out signal because there's nothing in here. And it retracts the piston and I have access to the key in there and I can grab it. Okay, so let's quickly cook up my key. I can show you the rest of the stuff, which is really simple. Get rid of these in the meantime. Don't need them anymore. Head back in. That I just love. Send the key.
press the button. Get the key. Again, that does nothing. So here's my sleeping areas. And it's no really, not really much redstone now. Just go up the honey elevator, which is a really cool system. But not exactly redstone. And this just unpowers the piston here. It goes into a redstone torch, which is powering it, inverts the redstone torch, and lets us drop through. So yeah, that's really it for now. Um, please tell me what you think in the comment section below, um, because, I mean, I like it, but I don't know about you guys. Oh, as for going up here, you can go up either side, just trap door, so you can easily get off there, and head on your way. Okay, so, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the end of the video, so... Yeah, see you in the next one. Oh, and please like and subscribe, it really helps out. Also, understand that this world is not going to be the world that is uploaded to the server later. It's just a plan of what I want to do my, for my base. I don't even know if it'll eventually happen in the vanilla game. So, yeah, please understand that. And, again... Like and subscribe, or you're not a true, cool kid or person of any age.